Hi guys, so I haven't posted a video in a really, really long time. Um, I have moved countries, I've done all kinds of things, had a couple more kids and everything like that. So anyway, so I'm hoping to get back onto my um, orchid train again. I love orchids. I had so many back where I came from. Unfortunately, I had to get rid of my whole collection uh, because I moved countries and you're not allowed to take plants with you overseas. But anyway, so I'm now in a much colder climate um, and I didn't have many Phalaenopsis orchids before, but I saw this one when I was walking through the shops recently and I thought, what a way to kickstart my um, orchid obsession again. Now, I'm sure most of you know, but this color in orchids is not a true color it's blue but it's not a true blue these orchids are actually white orchids that have been um they use food coloring to make them blue so they're quite clever they just make like a little hole in the stem i don't know if you can see it there tiny little hole in the stem and they wrap um like cotton wool with blue food coloring on and it soaks up literally overnight and the plant makes its blooms blue so as you can see like the, the furthest bloom away is all like just like a pale blue and then you get some real true blue ones so what will happen most probably when this orchid blooms again it will bloom white it won't bloom blue again but um so you can basically do it yourselves if you really wanted to unfortunately we did lose a few blooms there's one lost but um anyway so yeah this orchid is actually in really really good condition apart from the fact that it had been dyed blue um they only use food coloring so it's, it's non-toxic it's not harmful to the plant in any way um it just gives it this really blue color um but yeah if you look at her roots sorry getting my fingers in the way yeah if you look at her roots she's um got some good roots in the pot tons of roots actually in the pot tons of roots on top of the pot oops there she goes they've put the spikes right through so the spikes go below the pot so she doesn't stand very well on her own um and all the leaves look really great they're really waxy i'm really happy with them so yeah so this is just a way to get back into my awkward lifestyle i guess so i'm gonna water her soon because she's looking pretty uh dry um but yeah so basically what i'll do is i'll leave her in this pot until she's finished blooming i'll just let the blooms finish it's so cold she's already blasted where is it at the top here unfortunately this bud is definitely going to blast you can see it's like shriveled up and wrinkly so she's not going to open that i'm not going to put the energy into it which is fine so what i'll do when she's finished blooming is i'll just chop the stems i won't cut them very low i'm going to leave her with her two blue um two stems if they dry out then i'll totally cut them but otherwise i'll leave them and then i'll definitely repot her because she's running out of space in here and um yeah so keep an eye out for some more videos guys i've got ordered some orchids so we'll be doing an unboxing pretty soon and um yeah that'll all be very exciting so keep an eye on my channel subscribe to my channel and look out for some more videos